Playing video games. Holding a mug. Swiping a credit card. Activities most people take for granted, but not Ian Burkhart. Now it's just something that's so fluid, it's just kind of like it, w it was before I had my injury, where I just think about what I want to do, and now I can do it. Burkhart was paralyzed from his chest down after a diving accident six years ago. In 2014, surgeons at The Ohio State University placed a sensor in his brain that includes 96 electrodes to stimulate his own muscles. And essentially, within milliseconds of thinking, we're able to bypass the damaged spinal cord and link the uh, brain signals to an external wearable sleeve garment that he wears. Burkhart can only move his hands when he's in a laboratory hooked up to an experimental device that interprets his brain signals. But researchers say it might one day get wider use. But we hope that within a decade, um, with advances in research and collaborations across the world, we're able to um, have this technology more available for patients to use at home. Burkhart hopes to participate someday in testing a next generation device that could help other people who have suffered spinal cord injuries or strokes. And now that we've been able to really see that it's something that can work, I know that in the future it'll really be able to help a lot of people. Experts call the results published in the journal Nature promising, an important step toward reversing paralysis. Kathy Matheson, Associated Press.